welcome back to another brand new video. <laughs> Me. Well, when it comes to the GD community, I think that 2019 was a quieter year than last year. But I still think it's worth remembering because of a lot of events that happened. Relatively early on in the year, we had the GD Twitch event which lasted for I think 48 or 49 consecutive hours. That's over two straight days. And it brought so many streamers and so many community veterans together. It gave Rob Top a new lease of activity. He joined some streams, leaked some info about 2.2 and renewed everybody's faith that the update would actually come out one day. Then secondly, I think this year was the year when the demons list their tournaments and stuff started gaining traction and a lot of people started getting interested and honestly, speaking about the demon list itself, lots of things happened today. Bloodlust was overthrown and then overthrown again by both Crimson Planet and Zodiac. Noble Boy completed GE, and then after that, it, he got a cease and desist letter from the actual anime franchise. Then he had to take the level down, rework it a bit, and re-verify it, which is insane dedication. <laughs> so, and at the end of the year, you have Kenos verified, you have Demos, which is earlier in the year by the same guy. You have a lot of levels that have been in the works for very long, like EXO, Freedom Await, and we also had WoW, which was Trusta's alleged last project of 2.1. Speaking of Trusta, he also had a mild return to the game for a short while. I believe that was earlier in the year. C1997 also quit this year, if I'm not wrong. Lots of community things happen, like certain star milestones, demon milestones, number of extreme demon milestones. And of course, we have the reactions of 2019, like Metal Face to Arctic Lights. We have Nepesta's reaction to Kenos. We have lots of rising players like Brian the Burger, Technical. And in general, I think that anything which united us as a community whether it's drama, whether it's Twitter, Discord, or YouTube, should be in there. Because that's what made 2019 special. There must be something like that, because literally spams everyone in GV. The best thing is probably Kinos being verified. Oh my God! Since one over 100k attempts is a long time, and you know, good for Npesta. Honestly, that whole pause a clown thing. I find it funny, but it's just wrong to be honest. Honestly, at this point, the only thing I want is that 2.2 actually comes out. Um, obviously, I want them to fix the hacker situation. Um, because as soon as Astral Divinity came out, for example, you look at the leaderboard, there was tons of hackers. I want Robtop to, you know, do something about that. Uh, aside from Robtop being a boomer, maybe a new official level or something. Just the regular stuff. That would honestly be pretty fun to see. You know, just the general stuff that everyone's hoping for. I saw those videos about the swing copter uh, game mode and like people actually playing it. I had no idea those were actually real. Maybe they are, maybe they're not, but if that's actually in Meltdown, then that's really surprising. That means that Swing Copter definitely will be added in 2.2, which is a big relief because, um, you know, freaking we've been stuck with the same game modes for so long. It'll be refreshing to get something new, even if it's just the Swing Copter. Nothing else original that hasn't been hyped up already. Still, it'll be fun to, like, get any new game modes at this point, so... Yeah, that's uh, what I think, and that's my hopes basically for 2.2, and uh, that's all I have to say about 2.2. Uh, any other hopes for 2.2? I actually want them to add a new demon rating or something, because that would be really fun to be honest. Who's your most favorite GD YouTuber? Okay, Red QC and Noble Boy, 100%. One Red QC because he makes really entertaining content. <laughs> really like his content. 
and two noble boy because the first video i ever watched i watched like 10 times in a row back in the day and uh, i really like noble boy i really like his creating style and i just like the orange color scheme i like juniper as well but i don't watch her that much anymore she's with 100k already i didn't even realize yeah those are my two most favorite youtubers gd youtubers i really like them both and uh yeah now was almost at 300k not almost but hope he reaches it soon and hope qc reaches 30k soon so yeah hold up i can't say that all right whatever i gotta go peace I'll try my best, and I'll live up to that name. I'm sure you will, hero.